Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a small tabletop catapult that's torsion powered. So a torsion powered catapult. It's a little bit different from some of the other catapults that I've made which use rubber bands. This one won't use any rubber bands. The nice thing about that is if you want to make a catapult that's more realistic to medieval times you should make a torsion powered catapult because they didn't have rubber bands back then. And uh, the power comes from uh, twisted string. In the case of a big catapult, it would be twisted rope. But we're going to use twisted string. And it's uh, pretty similar to my other catapults, but um, different in, its, in the means of storing and releasing energy there. So, <clears throat> let me go over the parts I have here and what you need to make this catapult. A couple of tools you're going to need. You know, a saw to cut the wood the way you want it. A, um, a drill is nice, not mandatory, but nice because whenever you put a screw or a nail in some of these smaller boards, it would be nice to drill a pilot hole first so the board doesn't crack. If you just go ahead and screw a nail into, into these small pieces of wood, it may crack. If you drill a pilot hole, a small hole first, less chance of cracking. So, And of course safety glasses. Now you'll need, I'm using 5 8 inch square wood here. So you need two pieces that are a foot long, two pieces, one piece that's 10 inches long, and five pieces that are five inches long. This here is um, is a, a piece of a square of paneling that I cut, and it's four inches by five and three quarter inches. So you can use any kind of a thin wood for that. That'll be for strength of the structure. I have wheels I'm going to add to this catapult. That's strictly optional. Uh, let me see. Some string. You can use any variety of string, but it has to be something that's a compound string. It has to have multiple strands in it. A twine works well, too. Uh, a variety of screws and nails. A small dowel. You could use a pencil for this instead, and you'll see as we build the tutorial what I mean. What I, I also, as a replacement, I use three barbecue skewers taped together. So this dowel, don't worry about it too much if you don't have any dowels. We'll, we'll improvise something. A piece of coat hanger. And you're going to bend it like this. You'll see how I use that. Nail. And two eye hooks. Now these eye hooks are too big for this project. But if you have some tiny eye hooks, that is, it would be perfect. I don't have tiny eye hooks currently. So what I'm going to use is a couple of um, staples like this. A couple of electrical staples. Those will work just fine. And you'll see when I do it why and how you can improvise what you're doing. And finally, some paint if you want to paint it up and decorate it. And that's everything. That's all you need to make this catapult. It shouldn't take you that long. Uh, there are, there's some drilling you'll have to do. There's some holes you'll have to make and assembly you have to do. And I'll take you through all the steps of that. Thanks. Oh, and uh, complete instructions and plans are on my website. The okay, let's begin the assembly of this <coughs> torsion catapult. Uh, lay out two 12-inch pieces like this and two 5-inch pieces like this. And then take your the cut triangles that you cut from a square and place them like this. Get them nice and straight and then either tack them down, screw them down, or nail them down. Just take your time and be careful. Drill pilot holes so you don't crack anything. Okay, I've secured those down in place. Now let me show you the next step. It's pretty easy. So notice that these are not identical. They're actually mirror images of each other. So if I were to put that on there, it's backwards. So, get yourself two 5-inch pieces like this. And then do this. Just like that. And secure those down in place. So, so screw them down or um, nail them down. Make sure you drill pilot holes. And uh, the catapult's already starting to take shape. Okay, that's all built and that looks great. <clears throat> uh, one more one more piece we have here and we'll be um, getting ready to uh, finish it up. And that piece is the crossbar here. So you're going to put that right across here on the long side. So do the same thing. Drill some pilot holes, screw it down or nail it down. And when you're doing all of this stuff, it's a good idea to use glue too. So glue and screw, or glue and uh, nail it, so it would be nice, make it nice and strong. Okay, that main structure is built, and that didn't take long at all, probably about 15 or 20 minutes it took me, once, once all the pieces are cut, um, that goes together pretty quick.
Now, um, this is what's, this is going to be the swing arm of the catapult, and this is where we have to put a little work into this. The swing arm will go something like this. It'll be locked down here, and what you'll do is you'll be able to pull this coat hanger out for it to fling. Okay? There's also going to be a winder here, so you're going to wind it up real tight with the torsion, and that's where the torsion comes in. And then when you let it go, it'll, it'll flip like that. So I'm going to start working on that, and I'll show you how I do that as I go. Okay, we're getting ready to prepare this catapult for the throw arm, and what I've done is I've drilled three holes in it. Um, three quarters of an inch from the end of the th actual throw arm, I drilled a hole right in the middle that is um, 15 64ths. And you can fudge that a little bit, but um, it's got to be a reasonably good size hole. The bigger the hole, uh, the more rope you can get in there, the better, the stronger it's going to be. So I may open that up even further if I need to. And in the catapult, uh, two and one quarter inches from the end, I've drilled a hole here. And that, that hole right now is 9 30 seconds of an inch. Same thing on the other side, 9 30 seconds of an inch. It's a, uh, excuse me, two and a quarter inches, nine thirty seconds of an inch right in the middle. So what's going to happen is we're going to be stringing our torsion string through all of this to, uh, and, that, and that's how it's powered up. Okay, this catapult is getting close to being finished, and you can see what I did here is I wrapped the string around, around the peg, and then went, for the first three wraps, I went through the hole of the throw arm. And that way it would keep it centered. It wouldn't get lost. It wouldn't fall off. And then I wrapped it. And then I did a bunch of wraps, about eight or ten wraps on each side. So what you do is you go around the peg, go around this, go around the other peg, then go around the other side. And you keep wrapping it back and forth like that in kind of a twisty motion. And then you can tighten these up. Get them nice and tight should be able to get a lot of tension on those. I've already tightened this up. And what you come up with is a great spring action. Just like this. See that? Very nice. Now, okay, I've done a couple of final touches to this uh, torsion catapult. I'll show you what I did. I put it, I put uh, an eye hook here, two eye hooks here. And well, I actually use insulating staples, but you can use eye hooks or insulating staples or U-hooks or anything like that. I made myself a nice little cardboard box. It's like a, a little scoop. And um, I've already wound it up. Now this is what you do. You pull it back. Put your release mechanism right through there. Right through both your hooks. Put your projectile in it. Now when you release it, not bad. I'll do it one more time. Um, I'm going to do it in this direction so maybe you get an idea of uh, what we got here. Right, simple as that. Let's see what we got. Yeah, well. Alright, so there you go. Now, a couple of things. You want to change the trajectory a little bit. You can move this bar down. That will change the trajectory. You can move the bar up a little bit. That will change the trajectory. You make this arm longer. That will change the trajectory. You want it to go be more powerful. Wind it up a little tighter. So, there you have it. There's the catapult. Torsion catapult. It was real easy to build it. The longest part took me was the winding of the string. Go so through there and through there and keep doing that. And I used a piece of wire as a guide. It took a while to do that. That was the slowest part. And I just put a thumbtack in this cup here. But I recommend you um, either staple it in tight or glue it down. And uh, get to go. That's the end of this project. Uh, I got plenty more catapult stuff and uh, lots of other projects on my website www.stormthecastle.com.